I want to show you how quick it is to change needles on the Bernina L850 serger. So first off, all the tools that you need to do this are right on the inside of the front cover. You're going to need a screwdriver, and while you're in here, go ahead and pull out your needle threader slash needle catcher. So on this end, you're going to see how I'm going to use that to catch the needle. Now, if you don't already have needles out, your needle pack is here, so you can always refill this or put another pack in its place. So these are standard soy machine needles that we do use in this serger. And the little CF at the end of the needle number stands for chrome finish. So you can buy those separately. So usually what I'll do is just take my scissors and snip the thread that I need to remove from the needle and just kind of slide it out of the way. Next, you'll see two screws that this particular screwdriver, the hex screwdriver, will assist with are right above the last guide. The top screw is for the left needle and the lower screw is for the right needle. Now, just so you don't have to have all your hands in here, go ahead and slide up that needle with the catcher, loosen the screw at the top and give it a little wiggle. You'll notice that it'll just come right on out. Now, when you go to put it back in, you're gonna use and find the flat side. So the flat side is on the back and you'll slide it directly up into that opening. This is the left needle I'm doing. Make sure it gets at the highest position. You'll see that the needles are not equal at the bottom. So the left one is higher than the right one. And you can see right up here that the top of the needle is as high as it'll go. While you're holding it in place, take your screwdriver and tighten it so it stays into position. Remember you have the handheld needle threader or the regular needle threader that will help you re-thread once you've put new needles in. So how often should you change needles? You know, honestly, I probably don't change mine enough, but if you change them anytime that you get some thread breaks or maybe it's starting to sound a little clicky when you're stitching, that's when you really need to change needles and put in fresh needles when you start that next project. Once you're re-threaded, even if the thread's just off to the side, just go ahead, set some fabric underneath, and that new needle thread will easily get reinserted into that serge seam.